Life has changed for children going to school in Islamabad. Every morning they're now greeted with roadblocks, high walls and armed guards. Even the youngest have become used to their bags being searched and metal detectors. School staff are having to deal with talk of bombings and killings reaching their classrooms. My name is Sahar Pirzada and I'm a school teacher. A lot is televised and unfortunately we're all watching the news like reality TV and our kids are watching it with us. And because they see it every day and everywhere around them and these conversations are taking place at home, they're taking place in the, you know, in the playground, you would be surprised kids are playing games like let's find the bomb. They talk about deaths, they talk about bomb blasts in the course of everyday conversation. And after a point when things go on for too long, it becomes um, a routine. And they talk about these things as if it's okay. We've had to work out security plans where we're teaching them different kinds of drills for different situations. You know, it could be an evacuation, it could be a duck and cover situation. So it really, it tugs at your heart as well when you see the little kids ducking under their seats and chairs and pretending that it's a game. But it gets to you on a, on, you know, on a different level altogether as a person that this is what they're going to be growing up with. This is going to be part of their lives. With these kids, you have to teach them to stay at home, to stay out of marketplaces, to not engage in outdoor activities. It changes who they're going to be as people. They've lived in this environment of fear, even if they don't recognize it uh, on a conscious level. They're growing up with it, and it will affect them, and that worries them. Well, in the past, educational institutions themselves have been a target for militants here. And as we've heard, the job for teachers in Pakistan now is not just concerned with the curriculum, but also with guiding their pupils through what is a very uncertain time for the country. Alim Magbul, BBC News, Islamabad.